So I'm over here at Plant City Engines and Parts and they specialize in airboats over here. So they got a whole bunch of airboat engines and I just ran inside and picked this guy up. So I just bought a steering cable for the rudders and this is one of the final pieces we needed for the K-Swap airboat. And you can see they have a whole bunch of airboats in the back over here. And uh, I just went ahead and checked out a couple of them just to make sure we're routing this cable in the right place once we get it back. But uh, yeah, boys, there she is. Our airboat will finally steer. And I think we're about ready to get this thing on the water. Well, boys, the airboat is just about ready to go. As you saw, I went and picked up a steering cable for this thing. And I actually did that about a week and a half ago. And we got everything hooked up now. So you look right here, we got ourselves some steering. We got the cable on, our rudders turned, and it looks like they just had some brackets that were already on there and we just ran the cable and the existing brackets and it went right on all the boats that I saw at that jet boat place or at the airboat place had brackets on the bottom side of the rudders here and their cable kind of ran down through here but this one was built to uh, run up there so we just put the cable on where the brackets were and everything worked all we had to do was weld that extra tab onto the arm right here and we got steering boys so that was the biggest thing we had to get done off the checklist and that is done and now we are just about ready to get her on the water. I think we're gonna try to do it today. So we got the charge pipes done as well. We don't have a blow valve on it. I don't know if we're ever gonna put one on, but we just put some charge pipes on there. We're gonna hear some cool turbo whooshes. And we got the coolant system done. We got our line going to the water neck up here to the radiator. It's topped off with coolant. Got our fuel cell done. We have a temporary throttle pedal. So the pedal will stay, but we need to get the legit cable. It's on the way, we just haven't got it yet, but we were able to rig up this throttle cable to work for right now. And I don't know if there's much more else to go over. Oh, also we had to change the button panel that was on the airboat as well. So you guys remember we got that cool little button panel for this thing, but unfortunately it kind of cheaped out on us and stopped working. And we tried to make it work, but it just didn't happen. So we ended up switching to a simple switch panel right here. So we got our bilge pump, water pump, and the light bar all on this switch panel right here. We got an air fuel gauge on. We got an RPM gauge right here. Still the same starter button. We got our main power on and off right there. We also got an exhaust on this thing, just a quick temporary exhaust so we can get our wide band on there to do some tuning. And now that she's on, if you clear prop, we can go ahead and... take this thing to the lake today make sure it doesn't sink on us and try to putz this thing around finally get our airboat on the water freaking pump so we're gonna go ahead and pull this thing out and get it loaded up got to lube up the ground a little bit see if she'll do a couple donuts real fast before we load it up on the trailer this is sketch yeah you look like a real florida man
truck was only 168 dude <laughs> it pushes itself yeah. for a second sick. it gets off the wet though it struggled and oh, I this to, was like, all wet over here i was trying to shimmy it well you can definitely tell it got dry yeah, as yeah. i was getting closer to the trailer but yeah something just stopped right there you figure turn it on and off again maybe that'll fix it your poor van over there got hit with two big old barrels dude the van got hit with a category two hurricane <laughs> I think we're gonna need help getting it up on the trailer. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's but. not gonna drive up there. <laughs> but dude, it pushed itself. It just was trying to barely teeter and then it would go. Yeah. It's actually pretty impressive and it's still really rich up top, so. Yeah. There, yeah. bud. The TPS blew apart. <laughs> Dude, these cheap sensors, man. <laughs> old skippy. Old skippy. Nothing, but the, nothing but the quality. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Chinese. It freaking blew, blew the fine. TPS apart. How'd that even happen? There's too much vibration, probably. she gone, brother. Well, I guess we got to see if we have another one. Yep. <laughs> That'll do it. All right. Yep. TPS sensor, and then we're going to the water. Freaking skippy, man. Nothing but quality parts. <laughs> So we just got a new TPS on old Skippy here after the other one decided to blow apart on us. This one should be good though. We got the billet cap holding it together. Just got that guy recalibrated, got her loaded up. We are ready to load Skippy up and go to the water. This thing is honestly pretty terrifying, but it is so cool. We were just able to do a couple small donuts, kind of first time feeling this thing out. And uh, now we're gonna see if this thing can pull itself onto the trailer with a little bit of help with the uh, crank that came with the trailer. That strap's pretty worn out though. So hopefully it doesn't snap. And if this doesn't work, then we'll just like back the truck up under the boat and get it up on there. But here goes nothing. Fire it back up again. boost cut in there set it 10 pounds and it is hitting it the uh the waste gate's a 14 pound spring we brought an angle grinder to cut the spring down because we don't have any smaller springs so we're gonna have to either turn that down or i just up the boost cut to 14. oh boy let it ride oh, i think geez. it's gonna be pretty healthy at 10 pounds like, yeah i think it'll i'd be rather have less 10 we're, and we're, not break it <laughs> we're jumping a couple videos worth of content here by going right to boosting it and turning it up <laughs> So let's hopefully not blow it up on the first day. I was going to say, we're jumping, turboing it, going right to the blow up stage. We should probably slow it down a little bit. Yeah. But you have that angle grinder? Yeah, I'll throw it in. Yeah, we'll we just take that gate apart when we get there. And... Yep. It's running good other than that. Freaking ripping, dude. Yeah, that thing is going to move out. Old Skippy just coming along, <laughs> man. Y'all sure. doubted Skippy. <laughs> so many people are like, that is not going to work. And I know we had a whole bunch of comments about the intercooler being 
inefficient and in the way of the prop, but I really don't think it's gonna be a big deal. If I lose a couple mile an hour, it's probably better for us. <laughs> so maybe one day we'll move the intercooler down there and see if it picks up a mile an hour or not, but I really don't think it's gonna affect anything. And this whole time, I've had it just kind of running and tuning on it before we got the camera rolling when it was over there. And it only got to 160 degrees with the radiator down there. The fan's pulling so much air through all that stuff that I think she's gonna work good. Let's go see if this thing floats. <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> got Skippy over here at the boat ramp, getting ready to stick this thing in the water. And we went ahead and pulled the firing out of the wastegate. We were gonna just cut the spring down, but we figured we can just pull this guy out. That will allow some exhaust to go around the valve in the gate and we should make quite a bit less boost and uh, just make something reasonable so we don't blow it up. It's still on 93, so we're not on E85 yet. We just really don't wanna make anything crazy today since we're just out here testing it on the water. So that was just the easiest option, got that guy out. And now we're ready to stick this in the water and see if we have any new leaks. And then if all goes good there, <laughs> we can put it all down and lake, baby. see what she does, dude. I'm freaking pumped. We, uh... Really need to try out that bilge pump. Oh yeah, we do got the bilge pump in there. And she's brand new, wired up, so if this thing starts taking on water. The rule 2000, just yep. because, you know, old Skippy here. We might have to get a couple of those things, depending <laughs> on how today goes, so. Here comes SS Titanic, I mean Skippy. We're gonna see if, see if she floats here. Hopefully Ryan goes into the water slowly so that it doesn't come up over the back of this thing. But uh, it's a big day, see what happens. We just back in and it just goes right to the bottom. Dude, it just, just sinks. <laughs> Alright, go slow. Well, go slow! slow. <laughs> Hold on, stop. Oh, you're good. Alright, we're good. And the, and you're off. The back of the boat is about to Oh I know. Alright, flip it around. Can we do a circle? Yeah. Pull up on this side. <laughs> These things were not built for their aerodynamics and low center of gravity, I'll tell you that. Yeah, definitely don't turn this thing too sharp. Yeah, or fast. Alright, well, we're going to have to make sure that bilge pump works because yeah, she already got, a, she got small, some water in her. Small leak right there. Good luck, bilge pump. You're going to need it. Right there, buddy boy. Old sketchy Skippy here. <laughs> Already taking on some water. Not at a horrible rate, so we're gonna we're gonna try it out here. We got the bilge pump for a reason. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna drive over there, let Kyle tune a little bit on the laptop, and uh, we'll see how far we get. Hopefully, dude. we make it to the dock and yeah, don't sink. Hopefully. We can do that now. Dude, airboat wide. Airboat thing. No prop to clog. open water now do not sink now skippy do not sink now we are out here yeah let's just try to make it to the dock over there this feels so sketch <laughs> it is very <laughs> do not sink skippy i got my laptop hey, there's your oh there's the icon a5 again the water plane that thing's sick I don't think so. This thing is so sketchy. <laughs> so 
So we made it over to this dock here in Skippy, traveled across the lake, which was sketch. Luckily, she did not sink. I was running pretty rich up top though, and now that me and Wyatt are not both on this thing, I'm just gonna take it out on my own. I made some more adjustments to the tune, see if it wants to uh, pick up a little more, see how much boost it's making. Can safely say Skippy's probably a one person kind of boat, even though it has two seats with me and Wyatt on there, it felt very top heavy and just, uh, it was scary to turn sharp. So we'll have to play with this thing a little more, but I'm gonna take it back out and try to get into some boost. <laughs> So even though we took the firing out of the wastegate there, it's still hitting 10 pounds, which is the boost cut, and all our tools are back at the truck. We're starting to lose daylight anyways, so I think we're gonna call it there. It was still a good first water test with Skippy here. It's very scary. It's still above the water, so yeah, we didn't. Really well, we, no we still have to make it back, so I yeah, wouldn't say true. anything yet. We still have to go a good mile or two back. <laughs> so it's doing good so far. Definitely a couple things we still got to address, but she's still floating. It's definitely a lot scarier than I thought. It feels like it's gonna tip over if you turn at any speed. So, you know, that might just be an airboat thing that we're not used to, but we'll have to uh, play with it more, hopefully in the rivers one day where it's a little more shallow and I'm not scared that we're gonna lose this thing at the bottom of the lake. I mean, realistically, that went pretty smooth for the first outing. So I think, like you said, address a couple things and really, we'll see what this thing can do. Yeah, I don't know if she's ever, really going to be made for two people while you're ripping on it yeah the uh the hull design leaves a lot to be desired on this one so you know boys when we picked up skippy she was a very questionable boat but it works for the week and a half of work to get it built really not that bad <laughs> plus we wanted to test the concept of this whole setup with the k-series anyway so it's proving to be really good so if we have to one day we'll upgrade old skippy here into a nicer hull if we threw a fuel tech and a haul at it I think it'd be a pretty solid set. Yeah, you know, we wanted to test it. I didn't want to blow a whole bunch of money on a nice hole and then the K-Series just wouldn't work, but it's actually doing pretty good. Yeah. So. Heck yeah. Well, let's see if it makes the journey back. Yep. Don't sink it. Don't turn sharp on me, dude. No I problem, was so brother. Had the camera off and he like was on his phone and let the rudder swing one way and the whole boat freaking sloshed <laughs> to one side. I'm like, oh God. Thought we were going down. This guy's always out here at the lake in this Icon A5 water plane. Thing's so sick. I'd love to have one of these pricey units though that is so cool he must live around here or something we see him out here all the time
the whole back of the boat out of the water. The whole back of the boat came up. <laughs> what a unit. Not too bad. <laughs> hey, that ride on the way back was cool. Yeah. Going through all the weeds. That is really cool. Airboats are sick for that. Dude, she just needs a little more work, boys. But old Skippy of, here, she's working. A week of like, just buttoning up the weird little things and maybe some nicer components and dude and that turbo lights so, so fast. fast i was worried yeah. it was going to be too big it is plenty turbo. it's making too much boost boys which is usually not a thing for us but even we... with the wastegate leaking as bad as it is dude honestly this thing as is if it was riding out this thing would be fast yeah it's, it's like i mean it play i wouldn't say fast but like well i mean it'd be it's enough quick. to scare you yeah on playing it's not bad were you were you uh speed testing it no. out there oh but i mean we were only like almost 5,000 RPM at the highest and we got the limiter at seven. Yeah. And we could go eight or nine if we really wanted right. to lean on one of these. Yeah, and honestly, I think we're gonna be load limited probably to about 6,500, which will be perfect. At least for right now. So. I feel like that. I feel like if it lets it make that boost, it's trying to yeah. definitely wind that thing up and make some more RPM, but right. we just don't know where it stops yet. Pretty cool though. Yeah. Not often you see a K-Swap turbo airboat. On a lake. Yep. <laughs> Till next time, Skippy.